Welcome back to Purcell's here in the Radisson. Time now for questions from the crowd in the Oneida One Stop Fan Zone. Your name, young lady? Mariah. All right, Mariah, where are you from? Kiwani. All right, beat El Goma, right? All right, you'll, <laughs> she'll figure that one out later. All right, fire away, Mariah. Uh, what other sports do you like to play besides football? Baseball. Baseball was actually my first love. Um, I grew up, started off playing baseball first at the age of 10. Um, my mom didn't really want me playing football, kind of contact sport, but baseball is probably my other sport that I'll be playing. Nice. What position? Pitcher. Pitcher. In, in and outfield, yeah. Nice. All right, thank you, Mariah. <laughs> Next up, your name, young lady. Harmony Summers. And where are you from, Harmony? Green Bay. All right, fire away. What made you decide to play football, and when did you start? So I started playing football at age 12, and I always wanted to play football. I had a love for it. I always played around my neighborhood. And I remember I had a coach that was coming to the organization, a uh, director stayed across the street from me. And uh, he came by, and he was dropping off some papers, but I was outside playing football. And I wanted a scholarship to play, because my mom couldn't afford it. And I remember calling his name, and just ran a deep route, ran a go route, and I had my friend throw it. I ran it down, caught it, and I was like, you gonna sign me? <laughs> <laughs> and he came back, he said, I talked to your mom, and we convinced my mom to let me play. Nice, great story. All right, thank you, Harmony. All right, come on up. Your name? Jake Howie. All right, Jake, fire away. So a couple weeks ago, Jalen Ramsey made comments that he had never played hockey before, but that if he was given six months to train every day, he could make the NHL. Uh, I just want to know what your thoughts on that are and if you've ever played hockey. I think that's the competitive spirit in them. Um, just as an athlete, someone that you know if you put in the work and you grind after something, you could, you could attain it and you could reach anything. I think in life, that, if that's a goal and you want to accomplish, go for it. Strive for it. I mean, if he says six months and he's w willing to train and go for it, I think it's possible. I mean, you put your all into it, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. I can tell by your uh, accent, you play a lot of hockey. Every now and again. You still have all your teeth, though. That's good. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Geronimo. I mean, Jalen, he's got to be able to skate backwards. So we'll wait and see on I that mean, one. Right? It's tough. I'm not saying he's going to go in there and, and <laughs> excel and be a pro and, and right? go take the uh, NHL over. I think our, our guys, our hockey guys from Marion, will take us out on the ice. All yes. Get me and George out I there, can right? Skate. I think I can, can you skate? I, I, I can skate. I don't know about skating backwards, but right. I can go forward. <laughs> you can go forward? I can go forward. Mm -hmm. All right. Our questioners tonight will receive autographs from George Kuntz. And this segment was brought to you by Cellcom, where our player guest receives the new Apple iPad 6 and Apple TV, courtesy of Cellcom, built for you. When we come back, our keys to beating the Bills don't go anywhere. <laughs>